Tens of thousands of commuters were delayed this morning when a train broke down forcing the closure of the Glen Waverley line. Brendan Donoghue is at Darling Station tonight and Brendan, commuters aren't happy with new operator Metro. No, and they're incredibly frustrated as well, Peter. When out of the blue your train stops and it's eventually replaced with a bus leaving thousands late for work or school or shopping, it certainly has been a baptism of fire for the new rail operator, Metro Trains. Day two of Metro Trains managing the system and the Glen Waverley line is shut down at 7am. Totally pissed off. Unbelievable. Thousands forced to cram onto charter buses. A stopping all stations bus to Burnley. Please head down to the back of the line. While some call for taxis, the morning chaos and haphazard busing sparked angry scenes. The next one is just behind this one, no? Right, so we keep missing one, then we keep missing the other, and then we say, you know, to work, that sorry, we're still waiting for a bus. It's wonderful. Just absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, I, I might as well just go home and work from home, I suppose. We'd rather drive and go on the M1, really. The crush had unexpected effects. Yeah, I'm not trying to catch a bus. I'm trying to get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Trains blamed a broken power connector, the Pantograph, for the five-hour shutdown between Darling and Burnley stations. The, the reliability performance of the railway is erratic here, and that's because the root cause analysis and the long-term fixes have not been put in place. The opposition blamed the government for long-term lack of investment. You can't, after ten years, expect the community to give you any more time. The Premier not happy with the first two days of Metro managed trains. You're not going to see improvements here in days or weeks or months. It's going to take, it's going to take time. Shocking, but what can you do? Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.